And next on Ratchet Nation, <laughs> this boy here, Ryan Lotfi. For those of you who haven't been watching the Olympics or you some man that's in the doghouse and ain't been able to watch TV, which I might be in there after this video, Ryan Lotfi is an Olympic swimmer from America, an American swimmer. American Anglo-Saxon swimmer, by the way. He looks like this. He's won medals. Lots of medals. Him and some other swimming competitors from America went to a store, they was drunk, had to use the bathroom, so they broke into a door and got caught by the security guard. But now, it was quite a few of them, and they range in age. I think the youngest guy was 20, Lockie is 32. Mm-hmm. And so, through all that, we found video that we're gonna show you guys in a second that kind of summarizes the whole story to this point. So today, uh, the issue that came from that was Lottie lied and said that he was held at gunpoint um, instead of just saying that he had to use the bathroom and all that. And this is a big area of controversy because the narrative that had been pushed by lots of media outlets, in particular right-wing media outlets, is that it's dirty over there, the crime is bad. Sewer, no, water. Yeah, they don't have enough police force. And so what Lottie did was just kind of buy into that narrative and thought that he was gonna get away with. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, there's cameras and we've got the footage. So the question we pose to you guys after watching that is, should he be banned from the next Olympic trials or should they extradite his butt back over there and make him serve a penalty? Rebecca, what do you think? Um, because his teammates today, today, had to pay a fine of $11,000 $11, and he released that dumb, pathetic excuse of an apology. So, do you think he should miss the Olympics? Should he pay a fine? What do you think would be a fair punishment for him? I definitely think that he should pay a fine too. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about the banning, but I definitely think the least is to pay a fine. So, to me, he behaved like someone who was entitled. And I personally think he should pay the fine and he shouldn't go to the next Olympics either. If they banned Michael Phelps from an Olympics because he got caught drunk driving. This man went over there, vandalized stuff, then made up a big lie about it, and just didn't have the audacity to understand your own camera, dude. They got the whole thing. He's trying to pull an R. Kelly on us by saying that he pissed in the in stall and somebody robbed him. When we got it on camera, dude, come out with a better apology, go pay a fine, and Olympic organization, he shouldn't go to the very next one. You don't think he should go? No, he shouldn't. He, wow. He's got to pay for this. Yeah, he needs to pay. 
but I, I don't I don't know. You let that have been one of them Olympic basketball players, Kevin Durant. <laughs> or you let that have been Carmelo Anthony. Oh, they, now they, they would have been extradited. They wouldn't America. even have <laughs> let the plane wheel touch in America before. They would have whipped that shit right back around and sent it back to Rio. So that'll be my two cents on that. You have anything to say in closing? No, I don't. I, I really don't understand why he even did all of that. He's 32 years old. He's too damn old for those childish games. He did it because he ain't want to lose sponsors. The narrative. But he's going to lose them anyway. He's going to lose them he's now. He's going to lose more now for but, this nightmare that he has created. He's going to lose more now. But when he created the lie, he didn't know that the cameras was working. Maybe he thought Brazil was too poor to have working cameras too. Well, but now he knows. Now he knows. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. <laughs> That's going to do it, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Like the video. Comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Life game. Be sure to check the description box below for how you can find us. If you want to get on the show, you can contact us. You can get the fire sticks. You can get the life game t-shirt all below. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Thanks for watching.